Hi, I'm Anna Wall Trades, and today I'm going to tell you about another one of my long-term projects, which is beekeeping. I've been keeping bees for over three years, but I've had a lot of failures, and finally this year I had a little piece of success, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. What is this? Sugar water. Oh, so this is like a feeding? Yeah, they can come up from the inside, ah. they can crawl down the wire and they can drink it. I actually am terrified of bees. I've had a lifelong fear of bees ever since I could remember. And a big part of growing as a human being is facing your fears and you know, doing something about them. And so I decided a couple of years ago, as I got into homesteading and this whole lifestyle, that I wanted to face this particular fear. Well, ironically, the second year that I was keeping bees, I had a pretty catastrophic accident that in fact worsened my fear of bees significantly. I was out here managing my hive and howdy, my little precious donkey, who you've met multiple times on this channel, uh, was playing nearby and he happened to knock the hive over. The bees all came out at once and I got stung 70 times from the neck up, which was a pretty terrifying uh, experience and also a ridiculous health risk as well. So that kind of put me off of keeping bees for a little while. So I started three years ago by building this top bar hive. Top bar hives are characteristic by the fact that the, build, the bees build their comb in a top-down fashion. So we have these little bars that are in here and the bees build their comb off of there. And then you can actually break this off and harvest the entire comb all at once. In this climate, however, top bar hives are not super successful. The extra wind that comes in from the bottom gives a little bit too much ventilation and because we have so much humidity and moisture that causes a lot of problems. So my first hive in here died over the winter because there was too much airflow even though I had made efforts to seal the hive up for the winter. When I decided that I wanted to keep keeping bees after that second little accident I decided to try to move over to a hive system that would be better su suited for this climate and enter the Langstroth cell hives. Langstroth hives are standard sizes and you can actually go buy parts for them or you can make your own. I've made a few of my own bee boxes but I've also been in emergency situations where I just need some stuff really quick so I could pop down to the farm store and buy the equipment that I needed and that's the really nice thing about the standardized hive style of the Langstroth hives as opposed to the top bar hives. If I need any new supplies for this hive I have to run out to the wood shop and make it really quick. The queen likes to lay concentric circles. Okay. So if she hits something this short she'll go forget this she'll go back down. She assumes that's the top of the hive. Sure. And then you can have full size ones above that she'll never grow up there. Why don't you want her up in the top? You don't want to lay in babies in your honey. Oh, sure. Now, because I am so deathly afraid of bees, I decided that I wanted to do this with a mentor. Oh, I didn't want to just can. do it by myself. The other thing is, is that while I love doing research and things like that, there's only so much that I'm able to learn from a book. So this year, I asked my friend Casey to come out and he helped me install my hives, manage them. He gave me a lot of sage wisdom along the way. And we finally got a hive to the point this year that I could actually harvest the honey. And after three years of failed attempts and a ton of financial investment, and also that one very, very bad day, uh, we actually ended up getting a couple of gallons of honey, which is an incredibly sweet, excuse the pun, 
uh, result of all of this. So even if the bees never actually gave us any honey, I still think that it's a very valuable thing to have taken on here on the farm because the bees provide us with pollination and our plants succeed as a result of them going from plant to plant and pollinating things. Our fruit trees have flourished since we've had them. We've had enormous returns in our crop yields. And I mean, they're also just fascinating, fascinating creatures. A bee will fly up to seven miles to gather pollen in a day and then they will always find their way back to the hive, which is just unbelievable to me. And then of course, if they do give us honey, there's a thousand things we can do with it. We can replace our sugar supply with a healthy local sugar source. There's a lot of sources that say that eating local organic honey can actually improve your ability to deal with allergies. There's tons of health benefits of, it, of using honey in your skin. I make my own soap, so I can use the beeswax there. I also use my own beeswax in my woodworking shop for finishes and for plain lubrication. Um, and honey is the one thing that can last for literally thousands of years. They found honey in Egyptian tombs that's over 3,000 years old that is still completely palatable. And that is just, that kind of thing just absolutely blows my mind. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and for supporting my channel. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will put the link for that below and we can keep these awesome videos coming your way. Cheers. Why am I so short? <laughs> now let me just make Except sure that we're still in, tall. well, just squat just the entire time. <laughs> Go up, up, up. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Hey guys, this is my friend Eli and I'm super excited to announce that he's going to be working for me on a part-time basis to help make my whole life better in a whole lot of ways. So Eli and I met about a year ago. He started by volunteering on the farm and then casually mentioned to me after seeing me working like 27 hours a day that he wanted to help me out um, with the video production and content creation side of things. I'm not a professional editor or video filmer person, but I was certainly interested and I'm still currently interested in learning more and you uh, can't afford an actual editor, so it's oh, you know. it works out perfectly for me because I get to learn all the skills. It's crazy to me that less than a year into this, I already have enough business that I need an employee, and your support would be a huge part of that. So thank you so much in advance. Um, also, just as a heads up, if a bee flies on you, just be very, very calm. And don't like swat at it. If like if it goes into your hair, like a, a bee is not going to sting you. It's just the only time it's going to sting you is if you freak out. Okay. So yeah.